Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to Sir K Labs Physics and Chemistry Tutorial. Today's episode focuses on YN filter or velocity selector, which is a device consisting of perpendicular electric and magnetic fields that can be used as a velocity filter for charged particles. So join me, stick around, watch and learn. The question is, a velocity selector uses an electric field equal to 2.80 times 10 to the fourth power newton per coulomb directed in the positive y axis and a magnetic field equal to 0 0.0350 tesla directed in the positive z axis question letter a what particle speed will yield zero deflection question letter b in what direction should a charged particle travel through these fields to have a zero deflection? Question letter C. A positively charged particle travels through these fields with the speed you found in part A and the direction you found in part B. But the magnetic field magnitude is now greater than 0 0.0350 Tesla. Question. In what direction will the particle initially be deflected? As shown in the figure, we are given the magnitude and direction of the electric field vector, capital E, equal to 2.80 raised to the fourth power newton per coulomb, directed towards the positive y-axis, or it's also directed uh, relative to you. Okay? The electric field is directed upward and the magnetic field vector b all right is also given all right it has a magnitude of 0 0.0350 tesla and it's directed into the positive z axis all right in the figure uh the dot symbol here means that the magnetic field, capital B, is directed towards the reader or towards you. And our target variable is the speed, small letter v, or the magnitude of the velocity of the particle, right? We want this particle to remain undeflected along the positive x direction as shown again in the figure all right uh, the red arrow is pointing towards the right so that means the direction of the speed of the particle as it passes through the fields will remain uh, undeflected all right, at any given time, it is directed to the right. Okay. Um, this is the case applied in an accelerator mass spectroscopy. All right, where only the particles undeflected are to be selected. So, this condition or situation 
happens if the net force acting on the particle all right is equal to zero all right that is uh, the magnetic force f sub m must be equal in magnitude to the electric force f sub e but are exactly opposite in direction all right so when you add these two forces their sum or vector sum must be equal to zero all right we are uh, considering here that the weight or the gravitational force of attraction on the particle is negligible so only the magnetic force and the electric force are considered significant so um, The fact that the magnetic force is equal to the product of the magnetic field capital B, the charge Q, and the speed small letter V, all right, while the electric uh, force is the product of the electric field and the charge Q. So if we equate these two uh, formulas, for the magnetic force and the electric force, it's obvious that the charge small letter Q can be cancelled out, and we are left with uh, the velocity or the speed V being equal to the uh, magnitude of the electric field divided by the magnitude of the magnetic field. All right, so this is the key concept that we are emphasizing in this problem all right for the particle to be able to uh, go straight undeflected okay uh, this condition has to be satisfied that is there is only a specific or particular velocity or speed for the particle to undergo all right so that it will not be deflected either by the electric field or by the magnetic field because as we said earlier the two forces acting on the particle must cancel out all right or their vector sum must be equal to zero all right so remember the uh, condition the formula for that specific speed or velocity v must be equal to the electric field divided by the magnetic field all right so using that working formula for uh, the velocity v we can now compute this speed v all right that is it is just equal to 2.80 times 10 to the fourth power Newton per coulomb divided by the magnetic field 0 0.0350 Tesla. Doing our math, we will get V equals 8.00 raised to the fifth power meters per second. Now, its direction is as shown in the figure. All right. The arrow, the red arrow, all right, that is pointing into the positive x axis. All right is exactly the direction of this particle which as we have emphasized remains undeflected all right so we emphasize that the direction of the particle is towards the positive x axis all right throughout the uh, motion of the particle when it is within the uh, magnetic field and electric field that is
we can actually uh, verify that the uh, magnetic field, the electric field, and the velocity vectors are indeed mutually perpendicular with one another using the what we call the right hand slap rule. All right. So in applying this right hand slap rule, this is what you must do. Position your right hand such that your thumb, which represents the velocity vector, must be pointing into the positive x-axis or to the right. All right? Now, the other fingers, which represents the uh, magnetic field, all right, uh, must be in extended form so that uh, the angle that they form with your thumb must be exactly 90 degrees, all right? And in this uh, figure, the magnetic field B, as represented by the dot symbol, is directed towards the reader or towards you, which we can also say into the positive Z axis. All right? So, when you do the slapping, all right, when you slap, you move your right hand such that uh, the thumb, the palm of your right hand, which represents the magnetic force Fm, will be facing into the negative y axis, or relative to you, it is facing downward, all right? That is the direction of the magnetic force, all right, which is represented by your palm. All right, so you will notice that the three vectors, velocity, magnetic field, and the magnetic force, are indeed perpendicular to one another. All right, now, uh, what you are trying to prove is the electric field which causes uh, the, uh, mag the uh, electric force, all right? exerted on the particle right must be pointing as shown in the figure that is it must be pointing upward or into the positive y-axis and indeed that is true the fact that the magnetic force all right using a right hand slap rule we're able to demonstrate that the magnetic force fm is directed downwards or into the negative y axis so it follows that the electric force all right fe must be in the direction opposite to that of the magnetic force all right we know that the uh, direction of the electric field and the uh, what you call electric force on a charged particle, specifically a positive charged particle, must be the same. All right, and that is both the electric field and the uh, electric force are directed upwards or into the positive y axis, which is exactly what is indicated in this figure. Question that you see requires us to find the direction of the deflection of the positive charge if the initial velocity of the particle V0 is equal to what we got in letter A or part A equal to 8.00 raised to the peak power meters per second and directed towards the positive X axis and that the magnetic field this time is greater than 
0.0350 Tesla. Right? So, uh, this magnetic field equal to 0.035 Tesla, remember, is the magnetic field that causes the charged particle uh, to move within the fields without being deflected, all right, as shown by this red arrow. So, question letter C uh, is describing uh, what would happen to the particle as it continues to move within the uh, magnetic field and electric field, all right, having this condition, all right. The magnetic field is greater than 0 0.0350 Tesla but still directed uh, towards the positive C axis or as given in the figure into the reader. All right. The dot symbol here uh, means that the magnetic field is directed into the reader or towards U. So, our answer uh, to this question is uh, the positive particle will be deflected towards the negative y axis or downward, okay, as shown by the uh, curved downward arrow in the figure, all right? Why is this so? All right, we can explain this using again the right hand slap rule, all right? Uh, with your right hand, position your thumb, all right, that represents the initial uh, speed or velocity V0 pointing to the right, all right? While the other fingers extended so as to form 90 degree angle with your thumb, this represents the magnetic field, all right? And they are uh, directed towards you, all right? Then, when you do the slapping, your right hand palm, which represents the magnetic force, will be facing down or into the negative y axis. That's why uh, we say that the particle will be deflected towards the negative y axis. The deflection is referring to the uh, effect of the uh, magnetic force F sub m, which in this new scenario, all right, uh, will be greater than the uh, electric force, all right? The electric force that is due to the uh, constant electric field, all right? So, because of the inequality between the magnetic force and the electric force, there will be what we call a net force, all right? So, the net force uh, whose direction is, of course, the same as the direction of the greater uh, force, and that is the uh, magnetic force, whose direction, as we demonstrated using the right-hand slap rule, is into the negative y axis, right? Um, the net force right which actually uh, the magnetic force will now uh, cause the body okay uh, to move in uh, what we call a uniform circular motion all right in a clockwise fashion for as long as it's uh, 
initial velocity, all right, the magnitude of the initial velocity is kept constant at 8.00 raised to the p power meter per second. All right. So this time, we uh, describe it as the tangential velocity of the particle, meaning it's always tangent to uh, any point within the circular path. All right. And according to Newton's second law, the net force uh, causes the particle to have what we call a centripetal acceleration, denoted here by A sub C. Right? And this uh, centripetal acceleration is always directed towards the center of the circular path. Right? So again, the net force. Uh, which is the difference between the uh, magnetic force and the electric force, all right, is the centripetal force, mb squared over r, that will enable the particle to move in a uniform circular uh, motion, all right? And since this net force is entirely a magnetic force, F sub M, all right, which is just the product of the magnetic field, uh, the charge Q, and uh, the velocity of the moving uh, charge. So equating this uh, product of BQV to the formula for uh, centripetal force, MB squared over R, we come up with an equation that describes the radius, all right? The radius of uh, the circular path that will be undertaken by the charge, positive charge particle, all right? The R here depends, of course, on the mass of the particle, its tangential velocity, V, all right? And as shown in the equation, it is inversely proportional to the magnitude of the magnetic field as well as the magnitude of the given charge. All right? So in the figure, uh, the path of the particle is uh, the one shown here, the parabo parabolic downward uh, arrow, all right, suggests that uh, the charged particle will be moving in, in a uniform circular uh, motion, all right? Now, the other curved path, the other curved path that is curving upward will happen if the charge is a negative charge, all right? So, if the charge is positive, which is what is specified in the problem, this will be the path, all right, the path of the positive charge, while this one will be the path of the charge if it happens to be negative, all right? Of course, the red arrow represents uh, the situation when um, the electric force and the magnetic force are equal but opposite in direction so that uh, the charge, whether it's positive or negative, will remain undeflected. That is, it continues to move towards the positive x-axis. Before we end, let's stress here the key concept applied in the problem. A charged particle can experience both electric and magnetic forces if both an electric field and a magnetic field are present. These forces can cancel if the electric field capital E, the magnetic field capital B, and the particle's velocity are all mutually perpendicular.
and the particle travels at one particular speed v equal to the electric field divided by the magnetic field. So that's it. We are done. Till the next episode. Mabuhay. MashaAllah. Thank you very much for watching. Please follow me in my app page and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.